This whole thing was a free energy scam. And just like epic fantasies and romantic comedies, these stories always follow predictable paths. They have well-worn tropes, and they are functionally always the same. And so to demonstrate, let's take this scam apart and see how it works. It starts with a surprise discovery. Our inventors weren't looking for free energy, it just came to them one day. The trained engineer who set up Stiorn says the results were found by accident three years ago. Initially, they don't believe what they've found. They are skeptical of what they have because it seems too good to be true. But they rigorously test the device, and in doing so, they test themselves. Are they worthy of this discovery? The importance of validation is, is fundamental because the claim is so rails against so much thinking from, from, from ordinary people um, through the engineering technology community, through to the academic community, that it, it's, it's a prerequisite um, that, that this is embraced by science and accepted by science. But every test confirms the same shocking truth. The machine works. And if it works, just imagine how much it could change everybody's lives. Imagine a world without pollution and corruption that fossil fuels and extractive industries bring. And imagine they do, because they paint a rich and vivid picture of devices transformed by their invention's limitless power. A very basic function, retro phone, and the components that are inside it are again a standard um, phone, um, piece of electronics, a standard lithium ion battery, and two orbo power cells. Uh, this is a phone that will never need to be recharged. Um, this is available for pre order by emailing orders at orbo.com. It's available for a price of 480 euros plus shipping. This technology apparently works in the lab, but it isn't yet ready for the consumer. They just need a little bit more funding, just a few more months, and it will be ready. We will have something truly wonderful, they assure us. And ultimately, our role is to license this to people who make product, and that's something that will start on Monday. But not everyone is impressed by this possibility of unlimited free energy. Scientists, of course, they remain skeptical. 